Hello, Visaya Herman here, and I know that the day you were looking forward to has arrived. What I have here is the brand new self calibrating sensor, temperature sensor from Endless Hauser. If you remember my precision and accuracy video, I told you guys that in order to calibrate your sensors, you need a reference measurement point that is stable and does not change in time or due to the measurement conditions. In traditional calibration, oil baths are used to calibrate the temperature sensors at controlled temperatures. The temperature of the baths is precisely controlled and high accuracy sensors are used as a reference instrument and compared to the instrument in the field. The trust sense, on the contrary, uses a ceramic body as the reference that is placed directly in the sensor. But how does it work? How can a ceramic body act as a reference? How can I guarantee that the reference is accurate enough to act as a calibration reference? Well, to explain this, I need you to talk about the Curie temperature. At this temperature, the properties of magnetic materials change and ferromagnetic materials become paramagnetic. I will give you an example. Iron is one of the most common ferromagnetic materials and if you place a magnet near to iron, it will get attracted to it. But if you heat iron up to 1043 degrees Kelvin, iron becomes paramagnetic and it will not be attracted by the magnet. The Curie temperature is a physical property of any material that doesn't change with time or depending on the conditions of the measurement. In this case, the trust sense has a ceramic body with a Curie temperature of 118 degrees. And this temperature is used as the reference for the calibration. So how does it work? During the SAP cycle, you heat up your plant above 118 degrees Celsius. At that point, you can compare your temperature sensor with the moment when the properties of your ceramic body changes at 118 degrees Celsius. This way you have compared your sensor with a reference measuring point, hence you have calibrated your sensor. So what are the benefits of having this kind of self-calibrating sensors on your plant? First of all, since the calibration is done during every single SIP cycle, you can be sure that you will not start your process with a default sensor. That's actually taking all the risk out of the equation. Additionally, this sensor comes with LED indicators. You can visually check if the sensor is working properly. Green for everything's okay. Red for there's something that's not going okay. Your sensor is out of tolerance. What else? This sensor replaces one part of the custody chain needed when you do calibration since the ceramic body is certified as it was for the oil baths you had before in your plant. This sensor comes as well with Heartbeat. Heartbeat is an endless house technology for diagnostics using heart. But even if you don't have heart and you have 420 milliamps as your communication protocol, you can still use the advantages of the self-calibrating sensor from Endless Hauser. So the question is, should I trust the trust sense? As far as I know, it took 10 years to develop this product. They did tens, if not hundreds of field tests in order to guarantee that the ceramic body and the reference temperature is not changing in time. And that's about it. You have a high quality sensor with a high quality reference. In this case, your calibration cycle is complete. The trust sense will be available the next 15th of November. It's nice to see how something as simple as a temperature sensor, an RTD temperature sensor that has been here, has been around for years, even for decades, is still evolving. There are still new technologies and here in Visaya we're happy to talk about them and to share them with you. If you have a new product, if you have a new technology you want to share, please send me an email in the email below or comment on this video. We'll be happy to share with the audience. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and I see you next week.